Good morning, folks. Today we're going to be looking at several space weather items, check in on the tropical storm set to become a major hurricane before hitting Florida, and look at the ENSO phase and expected forecast for the next several months. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where things were mostly quiet. No significant solar flares or eruptions. There are plenty of sunspots and there could be more coming from just behind the limb. Right now, minor solar wind variation is causing minor geomagnetic unrest, which may be preconditioning for the CME expected to arrive today. Recall we're awaiting a glancing blow off the eruption from a few days ago. It is expected to arrive today. And while we wait for that CME to reach Earth, we're taking in the sunspot situation. Several active regions, but none of the sunspot groups are too large. They have moderate magnetic complexity at worst. We'll be monitoring their development as well as watching the incoming limb to see if more sunspots are trailing behind them and about to turn into Earth view. However, while the sunspots are only moderately active right now, the Earth spot entering the Gulf of Mexico is a beast. Helene is going to hit hurricane status and there are already evacuation orders given and school closures ahead of the northward push of the storm. It's got its penumbra whistler lines overnight, which means today it's going to surge in power as it begins heading for the panhandle. All the forecast models pretty much agree about where that landfall is going to be. And the water in the Gulf is tremendously warm, offering fuel for the storm as it moves closer to landfall, including a hot channel directly on the line it is forecast to take. Eyes open, everyone nearby. Meanwhile, if we zoom out on the same map data, we see that El Nino is giving way to La Nina, which forecasters give a 71 chance of developing this fall. The cooler temperatures off the coast of South America are the telltale sign, going to be a La Nina winter in the Northern Hemisphere. Folks, the Observer Review special release at the end of the month will be a Q&A video. If you are a member of our e-magazine, send in your questions. The video will be sent out to all of you on October 1st. Sign up at the link below. And don't forget, lots of events ongoing at Observer Ranch, including my 40th birthday on October 19th. I will be out there middle of the day this coming Sunday to see any observers passing through. Come see us in person observerranch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.